In this video, we provide the solution to question number 10 for practice exam number two for Math 1030, in which case we have six players, A, B, C, D, E, F, who are slicing a $24 cake into six pieces using the last diminisher method. With last diminisher, we have to order the players, and so we're just gonna go in alphabetical order, A, B, C, D, E, F. So that's the order we're gonna use here. So this is the game that's been played so far. We're in the middle of the game. Player C has already received her slice, so she's no longer in consideration. For that, that happened in the first round. So the first round, player C got her cake. Now she's done. Now in the second round, player A cut a slice of the cake because he's the one who goes first. Player B then trimmed the cake smaller. And then, since there's no C in situ situation, then went to player D. Player D passes. So currently, B is the last person to have cut the cake. Um, it's now E's turn, and E values the current slice of cake at $5.26. What is E going to do? Now, what E does is if E values this cake at above a fair share, he's gonna cut this down to a fair share, um, unless he's the last player to go. If he's the last player to go, he'll just grab what he has right there, no big deal. Um, so what is a fair share, right? We have six players total, and there were 24, uh, the cake is worth $24. So that's the first thing to consider here. Um, if you take 24 and divide it by six, you end up with $4. So that is what a fair share is, $4. So since player E values this higher than $4, he's not gonna pass, so it's not choice A. He would only pass if there is, um, if it's less than $4. So he has to trim the cake, right? Now, if he valued it exactly at um, $4, he would trim off nothing. Or if he's the last player to go, he would trim off nothing. But player E is not the last player. Player F is gonna be the last player. Player F is still in consideration. So he's not gonna trim off nothing. So how much does he trim off, okay? So he needs to trim it down to be $4. So he doesn't trim off $4. That would make the, the slice only worth $1.26. Instead, he needs to trim off $1.26 because 526 minus four, let's write that out there, 526 minus four gives a dollar and 26 cents. That's what he cuts off so that the remaining slice is worth $4, which is a fair share. So what, what player E would do would be trim off a dollar 26 off the cake, and then depending on what F does, we'll decide whether player E gets the cake or not. But regardless, what player E should do is trim off a dollar and 26 cents.